Good day, students. Welcome to Lesson 61. Remember, in the previous lesson, I said to you that when special donations and legacies, legacies are received from a member's estate, the donor could have stipulated that the money be used or be utilized for a specific purpose or that the fund be created and then that the proceeds of the fund we can say that the interest on the fund be used for a specific purpose. Okay, in this lesson, we are going to deal with the special funds created from legacies and donations. Okay, so let's start with the first transaction. Green Bean Sports Club received 50000 from the estate of A. Mashakani. Mr. Mashakani's estate stipulated that, this, that a special fund be established and that the money be invested. Okay, so the first thing, the first double entry that we're going to do is when we receive the money from the estate. Okay, so what is the double entry for that? We debit bank, we must be receive money. We debit bank, it's an asset that increases. So we debit bank and we credit the fund account, Mashakani fund. So we will debit bank with 50,000. And we are going to credit the Mashikani fund with 50,000. Okay. Okay, the fund forms part of the members' equity. So we are going to credit the members. We are going to credit the fund um, because it falls under members' equity. So if you look at the double of the accounting equation, assets increase with 50,000 and members' equity increases with 50,000. Okay, so now let's look at the second entry. It says Green Bean Sports Club invested 50,000 in Zaza Bank at 24% interest per annum as the Mashakani Fund investment. It was stipulated in the estate that the money had to be invested on a fixed deposit. Okay, so what is the double entry for that transaction? We are going to credit bank because we're going to pay the money into the investment account. So we're going to, going to credit bank with 50000 and debit Mashakani fund investment, the investment account, with 50000 So the double, the effect of the accounting equation for that transaction is assets decrease because bank decreased with 50000 and the, the investment is also an asset and that increased with 50,000. So the one asset bank decreased and the other asset, the investment increased with 50,000. Okay, so now we're going to deal with the interest that we're going to receive on that investment. So it's interest on the fund. The interest on the fund may be handled in various ways. It can be used to cover current expenses. In that case, we will transfer it to the income and expenditure account. Okay, number two, it can be used for a specific purpose. Let's say for awards or trophies or something like that. Number three, it can be used to purchase assets. Then it means we're going, going to capitalize that the, the interest. The term capital expense is used when assets are bought. Okay. And the fourth way in which we can handle the interest is it can be invested in the fund and therefore increasing the fund and, and the fund investment. It, it is also then capitalized. Okay. So let's continue with that example on Mr. Mashakani's estate. Remember, we had the transaction that um, Green Bean Sports Club received 50000 from the estate of Mr. of Amar Shakani, and that his, that his estate stimulated that a special fund to be established and that the money to be invested in that fund. And then Green Bean Sports Club um, invested the money in Zaza Bank at 24% interest um, as the Mashakani Fund investment. It was stipulated that they state that the money had to be invested in a fixed deposit. Okay, so we already had that. We've done those transactions. So let's carry on with that example. Okay. 
it says there, Mr. Mr. Mashakani says state that the following stipulations in respect of the interest. That is now the interest on that investment, the interest on the fixed deposit. Okay, 25% of the interest had to be given to the number one tennis player as a prize to enable him or her to enter the Wimbledon tournament. Number two, 25% of the interest had to be used for purchasing equipment, capitalized. 25% of the interest had to be reinvested to increase the fund. It means it also had to be capitalized. Number four, 25% of the interest had to, be, had to be used for current expenses. In other words, we could use that to cover current expenses. In other words, we could transfer that amount or that part of the interest to the income and expenditure account. All right. That was the um, stipulations in the estate. Now, it says the first transaction in May, it says here, yeah, Green Bean Sports Club received 12000 being interest on the Mashakani Fund investment. And then it says appropriation of the interest was affected according to the stipulations of the estate. Okay, so we received 12000 as interest on that investment. Okay, so we, we received 12000 as interest on the investment. Um, so what is the double entry for that? Debit bank and credit interest Mashakani fund. You will see I've marked that or tried to highlight it in, in that green color. Debit bank, credit, interest Mashakani fund. So it's interest, okay, which is a nominal account. On the credit side, you'll see there 12,000 rand in, in the green. Okay. Now we start with the first stipulation. 25% of the interest had to be given to number one tennis player to enable him to enter the Wimbledon tournament. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to transfer some of that interest to a prize account. We are going to open another nominal account and we're going to call that prizes Mashakani fund or prizes. And we are going to transfer from the interest. In other words, we're going to take out of that interest account that amount and, and sort of transfer it to the prizes account. And what is 25% on 12,000? That is 3,000. Okay. So you'll see, um, as I've said, we're sort of going to take out the 3,000 out of the out of the interest account and we're going to transfer it to the prizes account okay and so that is on you'll see the on the debit side of the interest account you'll see prizes mashakani fund so we debit interest and we credit the prizes account with three thousand and that amount is highlighted in orange in that orange color Okay, so let's start with the second stipulation, number two. 25% of the interest had to be used for purchasing equipment. In other words, it needs to be capitalized. So you know by now that if we capitalize an amount, then we write it in the accumulated fund account. Remember, we had the same with entrance fees, where it was stipulated that entrance fees must be capitalized. We debited bank and we credited accumulated fund directly. Okay, so we're going to do the same here. We're going to transfer the interest from the interest account to the accumulated fund account. In other words, to capitalize that amount. So to transfer it from the interest account, we need to debit the interest account. In other words, sort of take it out of the interest account. So we're going to debit the accumulated and we're going to debit interest account with 3000 and we are going to credit the accumulated fund account with 3000 And you'll see both these amounts are highlighted in that in the purple color. Okay, the third step stipulation says that 25% of the interest had to be reinvested in the to increase the fund. It must be capitalized. Okay, 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take out 25% of the interest, which is also 3,000 Rand. So we're going to debit the interest account and we are going to credit the Mashakani fund account, Mashakani fund. So we debit the interest with 3,000 and we credit the fund account with 3,000. Okay, you'll see it's highlighted. Those amounts are highlighted in that turquoise color. All right. But now you must remember the fund account and the investment account must always be have the same balance. So in this case, the Mashakani fund, the balance in that account is now 53,000, while in the investment account, it's still only 50,000. Okay. But we're going to do that correction immediately because we are going to reinvest that account into the, we're going to pay that interest into the investment account. All right, that is what the stipulation said. It says it had to be reinvested to increase the fund. In other words, we're going to reinvest that immediately. Remember when we received the, 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 the interest, the bank account was debited with that full, the 12,000. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to pay the 3,000 into the investment account. So we're going to credit our bank account and we're going to debit the investment account. Okay, so that is also, I've done that also in that um, turquoise color. Credit bank and debit investment, 3,000. Okay, so in this case now, the fund account, the balance is 53,000 and also the investment account is also 53,000. Okay, now the, the last stipulation, number four, says 25% of the interest had to be used for current expenses. Okay, that is very easy. Okay, so in other words, there is the 3,000 Rand that we that um, was entered in the interest account. We, we are going to transfer that to the income and expenditure account. Like normally what we do at the end of the financial year when we transfer income and expenses, you know, to normally to the profit and loss account. But as I've said, in the, with the club, we call that account income and expenditure account. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to transfer the last 3,000 Rand that is still in the interest account. We're going to transfer that to the income and expenditure account. So I'm going to be going to debit interest and we're going to credit the income and expenditure account with 3,000. And you'll see those two amounts are highlighted in brown. Okay, so now we get to the transactions where we actually do the payments or pay out the money as it was stipulated in the um, estate. Okay, so the first one is we're going to pay the price. You know, remember the first one where they said that we had, um, we're going to give that 25% of the interest to a tennis player to, to, to enable him to play at Wimbledon. Okay, so we're going to pay out to I stain that prize money. Okay, so obviously we pay out. So we're going to credit bank. And we're going to, remember, we opened an account for prizes, which we credited that we, we credited at that stage. Okay, so we're going to credit bank now and debit that prizes, the prizes account when we do that payment for stain. Okay, so then you will see that that pay the prizes account, um, the debit side is uh, same as the credit, so that one amount cancels the other one. So that amount is entered on the credit side of the bank. You'll see it's like a, um, a light color orange. Credit bank, debit prizes. Okay. okay, so then we're going to enter the transaction for the purchase of the equipment. That is a normal entry, like exactly the same as we a business, also we a business buy, buys equipment. So we, we debit equipment. And we credit bank because we pay cash for the equipment. We credit bank and we debit equipment. Okay. And that is, um, if you see on the debit side of equipment, you'll see the bank. It's that, that light color purple, light purple color. 
debit equipment and credit bank. Okay, with 3000. And I have already done the transaction where we, when we increased the investment. Remember, I said to you, you must, we must do that transaction together with the fund. So, because we want the fund, the, the balance in the fund account to be the same as the balance in the investment account, investment of the investment fund account. All right. So, we, I've already done that. The double entry for that was credit bank because we paid. And we increased the investment. So we credited bank with 3,000 and debited investment with the 3,000. But as I've said, I've already explained that. Those, those entries are highlighted in that light. Um, sorry, what is the color? <laughs> Turquoise color. Okay. Okay, so the last step in this lesson is to see what the effect of each transaction was on the accounting equation. All right, we start with the first one. Interest received on fund investment. Interest received, we received money, so we debited bank. Therefore, bank, which is an asset, increases. When it's debited, it increases. Okay, so assets increases with 12,000, and interest, the interest, which is a nominal account, is credited, so that means members' equity increases. Remember that rule, what we have is that when a nominal account is debited, owner's equity, in this case, members' equity, decreases. When a nominal account is credited, it normally means it's an income, but let just remember the rule. When a nominal account is credited, the members' equity increases. Owners' equity increases and so does members' equity. Okay, so in this case, interest was credited, so members' equity increases with 12,000. Okay, the second one is um, 3,000 has to be given as a price to a number one player. Um, what happened here is Remember when we received the interest, okay, we credited that full amount in the interest account. Okay, now we're going to take it out of that interest account and sort of transfer the money to the prizes account. All right, we're going to open the prizes. Okay, we can call it prizes, Masha Kani Fund, but remember the word is actually for, meant for prizes. We're going to open that account. It's also in the nominal accounts. It's also a nominal account. So what we're going to do, we're just going sort of to transfer the interest from the interest account to that prizes account. So we're going to debit the interest account with 3000 and we're going to credit the prizes account with 3000 Okay, and both of them are nominal accounts. Debit one nominal account, members equity decreases, credits another nominal account, that means only a member's equity increases. So one increase, one decrease with 3,000 rand in the, owners, in the member's equity. All right. Then 3,000 may be used to purchase equipment. So what we're going to do that we're going to capitalize that. <coughs> sorry, we're going to, going to capitalize that 3,000 rand. We're going to sort of take it out of the interest account and then we're going to capitalize that. How do we do that? We debit interest because, as I've said, the same principle as the previous one. We sort of take it out of the interest account. So we debit interest and we credit the accumulated fund account because, remember, we said when, when it says we must capitalize an amount, then we're going to take it, we take it to the accumulated fund account. Okay. So interest, we're going to debit interest. And we're going to credit accumulated fund account. And that is done in that purple color. All right. So um, the interest account is debited. Interest is a nominal account is debited. So it means members equity decreases with that 3,000 rand. And accumulated fund is a members equity account as it is. And that is credited. So then therefore members equity increases. Remember the same principle with capital accumulated fund in the in the in when we work with clubs the accumulated fund account 
is the same as a capital account when we work with a trading business. That is exactly the same principle. When accumulated fund is credited, members equity increases. So it increases and decreases with 3,000 rand. The 3,000 must be reinvested to increase the fund. We've already done that. Okay, so interest, we take the interest out of the interest account. So we debit interest and we credit the fund account. It's exactly the same principle as the previous one. Debit and in debit and nominal account, members' equity decreases. Credit the fund account, so members' equity increases. Okay. And then the, the last one, or not the last one, but it says 3,000 might be used to cover operating expenses. So what we do, we take it out of the interest account and we sort of transfer it to the um, income and expenses account. All right. So we're going to debit interest, the debit the interest account, which is a nominal account, and we're going to credit income and expenses, which is also a nominal account. All right. Remember that we're going to transfer it to the income and expenses in expenditure account because we can use that money to pay expenses. So that's why it can be transferred to the income and expenditure account. All right. So, okay. Both are of both are the, of these accounts, they are both nominal accounts. So interest is debited, so members' equity decreases. Income and expenditure is credited, so members' equity increases. So the one increase with 3,000, the other one decrease with 3,000. Okay. And then after the checks has been issued for the prizes, the purchase of assets and the investment of the accounting, or investment of the interest, the effect on the accounting will be as follows. Okay, now we paid 3,000 rand for the prize for that person who's going to go to the Wimbledon. Okay, so what happens is if we pay out that prize money, we credit bank because it's an asset that decreases. So assets is, assets will decrease with 3,000 rand. And we debit the Mashakani fund, the prizes account. Not, so not the fund account, it's an, the prizes account, which is a nominal account. And we debit that, okay, the prizes the prizes account, which is a nominal account. Okay, remember what I said, when we debit a nominal account, members' equity decreases. Okay, so in this case, members' equity decreases with 3,000 and assets decreases with 3,000. Okay, paid to purchase assets. What do we do when we pay, when we buy, when we buy equipment? Credit bank with 3,000, which is an asset, Debit equipment with 3,000, which is also an asset. So the one asset decreases with 3,000 and the other one increases with 3,000. And then transfer 3,000 to the investment account. So we're going to credit bank because, remember, we pay out of the bank into the investment account. So bank decreases, which is an asset, and investment increases, which is also an asset. So the one asset increases with 3,000. And the other one decreases with 3,000. Bank decreases with 3,000. And those amounts are done in that light blue color. Okay, and that is it for Lesson 61. I'll see you in Lesson 62. Goodbye.